so welcome back finally in a pov style video so uh the car is not finished i still have a few more things as you guys can probably see over here there's a few wires hanging around that's because of this uh bti screen um i need to get a different type of connector to make it work with my computer but i should have that done here within a week um, I gotta wire in like the line lock a few other things uh, for example like my speedometer I need to finish up when installing the transmission harness, but um, I the car needs fuel and I figured I'll bring you guys along so uh, Let's get on with it. The car sounds amazing with this uh, new turbo you guys the The way it spools up Jesus, man. I think I like it more than my Supra uh, But you guys are gonna be but you guys are gonna be the uh, judges on that really really like the way this car sounds yeah so I mean I and the reason I, I'm taking it out now and also just bring you guys along I mean you guys were with me for the entire build so I figured you guys need to be with me for like the first drives so the car needs to get some miles put into it in order for the clutch and the drive and the transmission and the motor i need everything to get broken in because i mean everything's you know brand new so i need to put some miles in it once i put in about four or five hundred miles i'll take it to get tuned and then we'll start ripping on it but y'all check hear this turbo though it sounds amazing does that not sound so good i mean y'all listen to this so beautiful I wonder if the the spool is a little bit louder with the windows up let's check it out Yeah, I want to see what what it sounds like with the windows up and also so these people don't see me with this camera hanging off my head It's always a little bit awkward. Not gonna lie but Let's see. Let's see how the turbo spool Yeah, I think it's louder with the windows down You guys this ST246 clutch from Granis is absolutely amazing it's so smooth man I wish I wish they would have made something like this for my Mustang your marriage lady look, look at that people man there's another one slow it down buddy now what side is my gas pump on I can't remember oh yeah it's on it's on the passenger side Three, just to break this baby in. All right, just got a full tank. Let's go.
gonna lie you guys this uh the straight pipe is actually pretty loud <laughs> Super seat bills, man. It gets all loose. Oh, come on, recline. Look at this, you guys. Any of y'all got some uh, seat belt replacements? <laughs> come on. Funny story for you guys, uh, this is actually the second time I drive the car. Uh, the first time I literally just took it out of the house onto the highway and then on the way on, and onto the highway for like a mile, two miles and then back home. Uh, I was just trying to make sure there was no more leaks. I got those cooling leaks fixed. You know, just make sure everything was good before a POV and I embarrassed myself here on camera. Uh, but on the while I was doing that, uh, three cops started following me and I'm talking about they followed me as soon as I got onto the main road from my house they were on me once I got onto the highway I busted a u-turn got back onto the highway they're still next to me and I'm thinking holy crap man I'm driving around on practically slicks the car straight piped I'm probably gonna get a ticket right now you know of course you know I was driving speed limit you know using my signal lights doing driving as you should and uh, once I got back onto the highway, one of them pulled up right next to me. He was just staring at me. And I'm thinking, oh, dude, like this guy's, I don't know, he's probably trying to scare me or something, uh, which he did. <laughs> and uh, then as soon as, as soon as he, you know, I guess I, he saw me, then I looked at him. Then he moved over to the other lane, the far left lane. And then his two buddies behind him just hauled ass. I mean, they just took off flying. And then that one uh, police that one police officer that was right next to me he smiled and then he just took off so i'm assuming they were just trying to look at the car <laughs> but yeah that still it kind of scared me though i just can't afford any tickets right now you guys i know that this you know, I know I spent a quite a bit of money on the transmission and the clutch setup, but I think it is absolutely worth it. Probably my most favorite thing that I've done to the car. The clutch feels amazing. I mean, it feels almost like a stock clutch, but whenever you let it out kind of fast, like, you know, when if you, let's say you want to dump the clutch, you can feel that it really grabs on. It's really, really strong, but at the same time smooth. It's hard to explain it, but, but this ST246 clutch, absolutely amazing. You know, if they made a ST246 uh, clutch for my Mustang, man, you know, I was talking to my buddy Nando and I, I if, if back then I knew that a clutch like this was available, I don't know if I would have gone the Turbo 400 route. I don't regret it whatsoever, but this is really nice though. You know, I kind of hated the six speed after that. And I think this is really making me fall in love with it again. So I can't really get onto the car because it's not tuned, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna let y'all hear how the wastegate sound at least a little bit open. What do y'all think about that? <laughs> Just a little bit, man. I ain't trying to break nothing. I ain't trying to blow up the car. I mean. I don't even know how much boost the car is running. I don't know what their fuel ratios are, nothing. So I gotta be careful. Uh, once I get this gauge wired in, I'll be able to monitor everything.
really, really strong. I need to stop that though, man. I, I'm, you know, it take I, for for those who don't know, it takes one second for you to blow up your motor. Let's say you're full throttle, wide open throttle, and then your car goes full lean for a second. That's it. Your motor's done. So I gotta be careful. lights up there better be careful slow down yeah I'm gonna take off the camera real quick actually you know I'm gonna bust a u-turn looks like they got some sort of situation up there and the last thing I want to do is uh, interrupt them by making them want to pull me over <laughs> around you shift at 2500 rpm okay make it sound quiet <laughs> quiet <laughs> but did you guys see how smooth you know i was how smooth i was able to take off slowly how nice the the gears engaged i'm telling you this clutch is on point super sound like this transmission it's really really good because like let's say I want to speed up to like you know 68 70 miles an hour at the at 3,000 rpm drop it into six gear look at that I'm cruising around 2300 rpm that's the one thing I really miss about a six speed because on my transmissions like my super and my Mustang is only a three speed so I'm like going 65 and I'm probably going 3,000 you know 3,000 3,200 depending on the car but definitely miss that. Whoa. Be careful with people walking on the highway. distract any of these kids <laughs>
you know, ever since I did that pull next to the cops, I, it was. A, if any of you haven't watched the video, I did a reaction video with my sister, and I was going like 140 miles an hour right next to him. I've been so paranoid ever since that day. Y'all should go check that video out if you haven't seen it. It's a sister's reaction video. what those guys yelled at me they could they probably been they probably could have been cursing me out I don't know oh damn it and I turned right where the cops are <laughs> oh boy under 2,000 rpms make it as quiet as possible me not knowing how to drive all right guys I think I'm gonna go ahead and head back home uh, I think that's gonna be good for today uh, it's all cloudy and I don't even know if it's gonna start raining again but I do want to tell you guys please stay tuned for the next few videos basically like all of March I'm gonna have updates on everything we should have updates on my Supra, uh, you know, the whole merch thing. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw that I did put on my story something about merch. That's coming very, very soon. Uh, you know, this car has the wiring stuff. That's not really a big deal. So I'm not really making like videos over that. Uh, but I mean that, you know, I should have that done within a few days. And uh, every, if everything goes well, this baby should be getting tuned to everything with, here within, with you know, by by March hopefully um, I already got like the fuel system that I got for it is enough to hold 12 1300 horsepower so that's not a problem it's just a matter of me taking it to get tuned um, but I'll show you guys that in a different video but you guys stay tuned March is gonna be a pretty awesome awesome month I mean overall for everything for all the cars so uh if uh if you guys see any downtime or anything you guys want to help me out go watch some of my old videos i <laughs> uh, hope some of those reaction videos are funny for you guys i mean at least i think they're funny all right you guys but uh enough talking i'm gonna go ahead and uh, head home and uh just want to thank you guys for all the support everything really appreciate all the positive words but until then i'll catch you guys on the next video okay later Temptations to not go after that guy. Oh man. Uh, soon enough.